More than 170 years ago, John Manjiro and Captain Whitfield first encountered each other in the Pacific Ocean. Their heartfelt relationship has continued down through the generations even until today. The 22nd Japan-America Grassroots Summit took place in North Texas. In total, 3,200 people, including 180 Japanese participants, as well as American volunteers and host families, came together to develop lasting friendships. The evening of their arrival, participants gathered at Rangers Ballpark to view a ball game between the Rangers and the Rays. The event was billed as Japan America Friendship Night to welcome Grassroots Summit participants. As part of pregame activities, high school students from Minami Sanriku performed their famous folk dance on the field. Meanwhile, students of the Ishinomaki Little Senior Baseball team enjoyed an exchange with Rangers players, including Yu Darvish and Koji Uehara. One of the students had the honor of throwing the first pitch of the game. Those student groups were able to join the summit through the support of the Tomodachi Initiative of the U.S.-Japan Council. On the morning of the second day, five optional local tours were offered. One of the tours visited the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Participants enjoyed not only seeing the exhibits, but also experiencing the technology. Fort Worth also has many fine art museums. Guests visited the modern art museum designed by Tadashi Ando, a Japanese architect. After their tour, they had a delicious lunch at the museum cafe. Just before the opening ceremony, everyone gathered in Fort Worth's famous dockyards, an area where it feels as if you can time travel to the age of old Western movies. Upon arrival, guests received a red cowboy bandana. The opening ceremony took place at Billy Bob's, Texas, famous as the biggest honky-tonk in America. Cowboy hats and western boots fit the atmosphere, but yukata, or summer kimono, added a special Japanese flair to the occasion. At last, the opening ceremony began. President Don Casey opened the 22nd Grassroots Summit, and Ambassador Tom Schieffer welcomed the participants. From Japan, Chairman Taizo Watanabe sent a video message, and Council General Jota Yamamoto celebrated the opening. Mayor Betsy Price warmly welcomed all attendees. DCM Kurt Tong and Senior Vice President Kaz Maniwa made short remarks representing the Tomodachi Initiative Program, which enabled the participation of students from Tohoku area. A group of middle school students from Kesenuma made an English language presentation entitled, We Are Tomodachi. They spoke about their beautiful hometown, its devastation by the tsunami, the great support offered by Operation Tomodachi, and how they and their town are recovering now. Dr. Perry, a descendant of Commodore Perry, gave a short lecture about the importance of Manjiro's role in the Meiji Restoration and the fact that Commodore Perry tried to meet Manjiro in New Bedford. After the ceremony, everyone enjoyed the welcome reception at Billy Bob's Texas. The menu included traditional Texas barbecue with tender beef smoked more than 18 hours 
as well as fresh salad and bread. Then everyone kicked up their heels with Texas line dancing, a famous aspect of Lone Star State culture. The highlight of the Japan America Grassroots Summit is the local session, or homestay programs. For the North Texas Summit, 14 local sessions were held in 15 cities. Before departing for the local sessions, participants joined the Fort Worth Downtown Walking Tour. The city has historic buildings, museums, and many other attractions. On August 30th, participants departed for their local session areas, looking forward to meeting host families and excited about local programs. This is the session of the welcome ceremony at the Richardson session. High school students performed their dance and the city mayor greeted the participants. The boys from Kamaishi, who participated in the summit with CIE President Ichiro Ozawa's support, joined the Irving session. They enjoyed the Boy Scout Museum. They were a little nervous about the homestay, but the smiles of their host families soon eased their tension. Meanwhile, the Ishinomaki baseball team was enjoying four games with the local youth teams in the Arlington session. During the Plano session, participants viewed a high school football game. They also marched on the field and were welcomed by the audience. This scene shows the first experience of horse riding in the Parker session, full of Texas atmosphere. In the Denton session, participants visited a chapel at a local university and learned the history of the city. On the last day of the summit, the closing ceremony took place at the Meyerson Symphony Center in the Arts District of downtown Dallas. The Japanese guests and their host families became close friends during the three days of homestay. The bell tones of Southern Methodist University opened the closing ceremony with lovely a cappella singing. After short remarks by Mike Rawlings, mayor of Dallas, and Richard Wood, president of CIE US, John Stick, honorary council general of Japan in Dallas, offered words of appreciation to committee members for their dedication to the summit. The folk dance by Minami Sandiku High School students dazzled the audience with its power and taiko sound. After brief remarks by Aya and Tomoyasu Nakahama and Robert Whitfield, descendants of John Manjiro and Captain Whitfield, the globe was exchanged as a token of long-lasting friendship between the two families. Special participants from Shimane Prefecture, the next summit venue in Japan, introduced the many attractions of Shimane and performed Zeni Daiko, a folk dance. Dr. Kiichiro Arima, chairman of the executive committee of the Shimane Grassroots Summit, invited everyone, especially Texans, to join next year's summit. At the end of the ceremony, Amy Hoffland, director of the Crow Collection of Asian Art, introduced the Dallas Art District, describing the walking tours offered after the ceremony. The North Texas Summit was full of warm texas size hospitality. The Japanese guests departed North Texas full of wonderful memories, promising that they will return in the future Texas hosts and volunteers saw them off, 
inviting them to visit again. Y'all come back now.